Hey there, bit of a different video this time, uh, mainly because I just wanted to share something with you that I just figured out. I have these uh, JBL Live NC660 headphones and I uh, like them quite a lot. The only thing is, there's one thing really that annoyed the heck out of me, which is that the voice assistant just keeps popping out, up and I have no idea why. So I kept searching around for... Uh, a long time and I still couldn't figure out what was happening because just at random moments it seemed the voice assistant started blaring in my ears saying all kinds of stuff um, and I wanted out of my headphones so I finally figured out what's going on and that is the following I couldn't find any button for the voice assistant anywhere but apparently there is a touch sensor under the B of the left headphone there's just a, a touch sensor Which means that if you pick up your headphones, like this... They will start speaking to you, which is the most annoying thing ever. So, what do you do about this? The first fix I found was not working for me, probably because I have an iPhone. Because in the JBL iPhone app you can only switch between them. And apparently on the Android app you can turn them off completely. Uh, so, I don't have an Android phone. So that was not an option for me. Fix number one would be get an Android device somewhere, download the JBL app, connect your headphones and switch it off completely. Option number two would be don't ever touch the left uh, headphone again, <laughs> which is, I don't know, gonna be tough, but at least now you know where it's coming from. That, uh, that helped me already a bit. So uh, as soon as you're your hand or your palm or whatever touches the, the left B for longer than two seconds, the voice assistant will start. Now, option number three is a bit more hardcore because I found a teardown somewhere. I found somebody who took it apart and apparently uh, the touch sensor is actually a separate module. So my hope is that removing that module will solve all of my issues. So uh, let's get cracking. There it is. Now the big question is if I only remove it, will it still power on? Let's see. Sure enough it does. So my guess is I can just leave out the, the connector. Put it back together. Okay, make sure that this this uh, there's a pin holding the the ear cup into the uh, holder. Make sure that that's uh, in there completely, because otherwise the uh, it won't fit. Basically, yeah. So I removed these two screws at the top of the. The headphone to open up the plate but there are these weird triangular screws so if you don't have this screwdriver to fit the screw what you could do is only open these three screws uh, lift up the plate a bit and then you can disconnect this uh, red black white connector over there which is not the battery because the battery is the red yellow black one over there and then push it back so you don't have to remove the top screws So 
got any specific? Yeah, there is. So now, if I press the B, nothing happens. <laughs> body, body, body. No more voice control. Awesome. So that's it. Um, I hope you can be saved from the incessant voice control as well. Good luck.